Hi guys! <laughs> Sean here. And Melissa. And we're with Brower Home Buyers and we're here to give you five proven tips on how to sell your home faster. Yes. 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 Uh, so tip number one. Do you remember it? I remember. <laughs> Get rid of your stuff. Yes. So if you're showing your house, whether that's to an investor or to a real estate agent who is therefore going to market your property and show it to retail buyers, you want to get rid of all your extra stuff, whether that's throwing it away uh, and having junk removal people come in and move out all the extra stuff that you really don't need that you've just been hoarding away. Uh, <laughs> get rid of that. Uh, if it's stuff that you want to keep and you know you're going to move, it's probably a good idea. Just go ahead and box that extra stuff up that you don't need and put it in an attic, put it in storage. Uh, just get rid of it. Make your home look a little cleaner. Tip number two. Take great photos. Take great photos. Uh, so you, we we saw a house one time. Uh, the, the photos were square, but it was blacked out. It just showed the center, like a circle, showed the house. So take a picture of a room. Uh, it would be bubbled. He's talking about fish eye, guys. Yeah, fish eye bubble. And then it was just a circular photo showed the room and then the edges were black yeah. so that was a horribly photographed house yeah uh the houses that get the most wow out of it are the ones that are professionally photographed uh your real estate agent may may take those photographs for you or they may recommend somebody who will take those photographs for you you want to make sure you get all your junk out and you clean it up before you have these photographs made um, that way you get the most bang for your buck. Tip number three. <laughs> Do you remember? Curb appeal. Okay. <laughs> I'm just winging this. Uh, we've mentioned before, uh, if you're gonna sell your house during the spring, summer, fall time, uh, make sure your lawn is taken care of. It's healthy. It's green. It's lush. Uh, make sure that you've mulched, you've pruned the trees. Uh, you've power washed, you've added lots of flowers to make the color pop. Uh, all of these things will make your house stand out when people pull up to it or when people see pictures of it. Uh, it's going to give the, the wow factor which you're looking for. And that curb appeal is going to set the stage because the, the initial response that they have in their mind, if it's, oh, this house looks kind of junky, they're going to go in to the showing uh, with hesitation. They're going to be like, uh, I, don't, I don't know about this house. Yeah. But if you set the stage up right and everything outside of the house is done correctly, they're going to be like, this house looks amazing. Let's go in and see what it looks like. Yeah. Two totally different mindsets and most likely two totally different outcomes. Uh, do you remember the fourth one? Yeah, price it right. Price it right. Good, because I didn't remember. Uh, price it right. So, that can depend on your situation if you need to move the house quickly you so the way we focus on price is we offer speed and convenience uh, you get three things when you sell real estate it's speed convenience and price if you want speed and convenience you have to give up a little bit of the price yeah if you want price and speed uh, you're gonna have to give up a little bit of the convenience so with us as investors uh, we're going to come in, buy your house quickly, and give you a cash offer. You're going to be able to close quickly and super convenient. Uh, we, we cater to your needs when we come in and buy from you. If you sell to an agent, you get speed and price. Uh, it's going to be a little inconvenient because they are the ones marketing your property, and they're bringing in people that you haven't vetted yourself. Yeah. So multiple people are going to be coming through your property, that you have no idea who it is, you're going to have to keep your house clean at Always. any given moment. Yeah. People are gonna be in your house on nights and weekends. And then if you're gonna sell it by yourself, so for sale by owner, you get uh, convenience and price, no speed. So yeah. it's gonna take the longest. Uh, you're gonna be able to vet who comes into your house. You're also going to be able to show it when it's convenient for you and these properties most likely will get the most amount of money. Uh, no commissions. Yeah, no commissions. So that's the three ways you price it. Uh, lots of other variations come in when actually getting 
a dollar price but yeah. that's how the general price structure works when marketing your property you remember the last one no I don't actually it was sell your neighborhood That's it. so whether you're marketing your property through your agent uh, you're selling it by yourself or you're just talking to somebody on the street or your investor uh, you want to market your neighborhood so what was the yeah. well okay so the way I think of it is like this if you know that your neighborhood is known for being like a family oriented neighborhood and there are a lot of other families with like young kids and stuff like that like you can kind of say that your what customer would be a young family so someone that has little kids so you'd want to market the schools nearby and the playgrounds and whatever little kids like is there a Chuck E. Cheese like two miles away whatever but I mean, it's just like finding the highlights of your neighborhood that would make people want to be in that community, in that little neck of the woods, whatever. So schools, restaurants, like for us, if you were trying to get like, if you know that your neighborhood is about to be a mostly millennial neighborhood. Without kids. Yeah, without <laughs> kids, you're going to want to talk about dog parks and breweries and I don't know, what All else the, do we like? Uh, Libraries. <laughs> hip, cool things. Yeah. So, I guess it's just knowing who would be your ideal person living in that house and then talking about what they want to go see because that's how you're going to make them move there. You don't only buy the house, you buy the, the lifestyle that is near that house. That's true. Uh, just to be safe, your real estate agent uh, is not allowed to yeah. uh, disclose demographics. They're not, allowed, they're not allowed to say this property is going to be great for a family with kids. Uh, yeah. All they can do is highlight the neighborhood. So just be aware of that when yeah. you're going to rent your property or you're going to sell your property. Uh, they can't just come out and say great for family, great for old people. Uh, yeah. it, there's uh, laws put in place so that we're not discriminating against people. Yeah. Uh, so that's the five tips. Uh, we had get rid of your stuff. We had Good photographs. What was it? Curb there? appeal. Curb appeal. Price is right. Price is right. And neighborhood. And things. Know, neighborhood. Know your neighborhood and sell it. That's all we have for the day, guys. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what your options are to sell your house, go to our website, fill out a form, or give us a call from our website. Uh, thank you. Bye. See ya.